Hey everyone, I'm Nick, the community manager of Pixel Games, and this is the Monthly Dev Breakdown, the monthly series where we summarise what we've been up to as fast as possible. Keep in mind that this is all a work in progress and not the final product. So, let's start off the arcade. Here's a preview of some of the machines we've worked on this month. This is Newton's Apples. The game is simple, drop the apples into the containers. If you get all 50 in, you'll get a jackpot. This month we added new sounds and tweaked some gameplay. Salmon Says is a simple game where players repeat the colour pattern as it gets longer and harder to memorise. It now has a screen that shows your progress and taunts you. The Offering is a carnival style ball toss game where players throw ping pong balls into bowls to score points. The Offering had many bug fixes and improvements. We've made more progress on Ice Cave. The sounds and screen are now finished. Super Hoopers is a basketball game where you've got 30 seconds to score as many points as you can. Animations and general gameplay improvements were finished. Pluckerpile has progressed, with networking and replication finished, along with support for different types of plushies. Speaking of, we're still adding more plushies. Here's all the new ones. And here are the token machines, where you can exchange your hard earned units for tokens, which you can use to play the arcade machines. Tickets are being worked on to ensure they'll pop out of the machines in a most pleasant way. And finally, whack-a-mole animations have been improved. Now, towards the end of the month, we shifted our focus towards the holiday update, so here's what we've been up to regarding that. We made a new tool called the Targeter, which lets you point to where you want to set an item's target, such as teleporters and new string items, like this string of ornaments. We've made a new item type that allows for dynamic string or rope type items, such as Christmas ornaments and lights. Also, we've made plenty of holiday customization items, such as decorations, particles, bow ties, and loads more. Here you can see the red nose, reindeer antlers, elf hat, and various particles. We've also made a new Christmas tree item with a train going around it. Also, we know you guys love the emotes, so we've got another in the works. This is the face plant animation. Looks painful. And finally, as 2019 is coming to a close, we'd like to say thanks to everyone in our community. 2019 has been a big, challenging year for us, and 2020 is shaping up to be too. So thank you all for sticking by us. We've posted the forums thread where we've looked back on what 2019 meant to us. So please give it a read at the link in the description. And that's pretty much it for December 2019. Keep in mind that we're still working on the arcade behind the scenes. There's up to 40 machines in development, and each one needs code, networking, music, sound effects, art, modelling, playtesting, etc. So stay tuned to our forums, Discord and Twitter for more arcade details in the future. But for now, thank you for watching, 